Hello, UGTRV English, Unit 3, Shakespeare, MCQ Part 2. Question number 26. The title of the novel, The Sound and the Fury, is from Shakespeare's Dash. The title of William Faulkner's Sound and Fury is from William Shakespeare's play Macbeth. That is the answer. Coming to question number 27. Shakespeare's The Rape of Lucrece, 1594, was a dash type of poem. It's a narrative poem. Question number 28. Aldous Huxley's novel Brave New World, the title of this novel is taken from Shakespeare's play Dash. The play is Tempest. The title of Aldous Huxley's uh, novel, Brave New World, is taken from the play Tempest. Question number 29. Shakespeare's A Lover's Complaint was written using dash rhyme. It was, used, it was written using rhyme royal. Question number 30. Shakespeare's King Lear was given a happy ending by, we all know that uh, Shakespeare's King Lear has a tragic ending, but there was a playwright who gave a happy ending to this play. The playwright is uh, Nahum Tat. Okay, Nahum Tat. Okay. Question number 31. Puck transforms Nick Bottom into Dash in a mid Midsummer's Night Dream. There is an error here. A Midsummer's Night's Dream. So Puck transforms Nick Bottom into which of the following? That is the answer. He transforms him into an ass. Uh, ass head. Okay. Question number 32. Who among the following English playwrights scripted the film Shakespeare in Love? Shakespeare in Love is a movie. And it was scripted by Tom Stoppard. Tom Stoppard. Question number 33. How old was Shakespeare? How old was Shakespeare when he married Anne Hathaway, who was 26? Shakespeare was just 18 years old. Question number 34. Okay. Sir John Falstaff is one of Shakespeare's greatest dash figure, one of the greatest comic figure. Question number 35. In 1576, Dash built a theatre just outside London. Uh, a theater, the theatre was built just outside London in the year 1576 by James Babbage. Question number 36. The Globe Theatre was opened in the year 1599. It was opened in the year 1599. Question number 37. The other name by which Puck is known in the play A Midsummer's Night's Dream is Robin Goodfellow. What is the nickname of Puck in A Midsummer's Night's Dream? It is Robin Goodfellow. Question number 38. Dash is the author of Preface to Shakespeare, Dr. Johnson. Question number 39. The Globe Theatre was consumed by fire in the year 1613. It was consumed by fire in the year 1613. Question number 40. When was Shakespeare's sonnet published? Shakespeare's sonnets were published in the year 1609. Question number 41. A Midsummer's Night's Dream takes place in Athens. Okay. It takes place in Athens. That's the setting. Question number 42. The Globe Theatre was reopened 
in the year 1614 was reopened in the year 1614 question number 43 what happens to Leah at the end of the play he dies while weeping over Cordelia's body that was a sad ending of King Leah 44 the curtain theater was opened in the year 1597 the curtain theater was opened in the year 1597 question number 45 the globe theater was constructed in the dash bank of Thames River in which part it was constructed in the southern bank of the southern bank of Thames River the black friar theater was built by James Babash in on the dash bank of Thames in 1596 it was built in the northern bank look at the question the question has a lot of information black black friar theater was built by Richard Babbage it was built in the year 1596 and it was situated in the northern bank of river Thames question number 47 which was Shakespeare's shortest play and Shakespeare's shortest play is the comedy of errors question number 48 how many plays did Shakespeare write according to the canon it is 38 question number 49 how many uh, how many sonnets did Shakespeare write Shakespeare wrote 154 sonnets coming to the last question of uh, part 2 the question is good friend for Jesus sake forbear to dig the dust enclosed here blessed be the man who spares these stones and cursed be the uh, one who moves my bones this epitaph is given about the tombstone of which of the following playwrights the answer is William Shakespeare the epitaph is a small extract which is engraved on the tombstone of a dead person here it is William Shakespeare's epitaph and uh, it is stated that epitaph was written by William Shakespeare himself a kind of blessing and a curse and William Shakespeare did not want anybody to disturb his eternal sleep and that is why he said a good friend for Jesus sake for beer to dig the dust enclosed here blessed be the man who spur, who spares these stones and he also ends with a curse curse be the one that moves my bone he was afraid that his bones may be removed in order to be uh, venerated as relics because he was so popular so with that we uh, wind up uh, mcq part two we will come up with mcq part three stay tuned thank you